the world is evolving. Certain careers that exist now did not exist 10 years ago. And with the introduction of AI, many people are scared and thinking, oh, my job will be taken. I am no longer relevant. So what does the creative do when there is constant change or there is consistent change going on in the world? Do they just fold their arms and get a nine to five or do they stay on the path? This podcast, we're talking to creatives and I've called it the steadfast creatives path because we'll be reviewing what it takes to earn a sustainable income as a creative, consistent income as a creative, how to monetize your creative gifts. Now, I'm not going to be showing you tricks that do not work. Rather, I'm choosing my words carefully. Rather, what we're going to be doing is having conversations. Yes, that's something that is missing. Creatives are always being talked at, but no one wants to really sit down and listen to what they have to say. So I've listened to what people have to say. I have experienced certain things as a creative, and I will be discussing this. So even if we're discussing time management, even if we're discussing tools and resources, we'll be doing it from the perspective of someone that has worked in the creative industry and knows what she's talking about. And besides <laughs> me there will be other people that i would have on this conversation and who is this person that you're speaking to now well my name is dk jonah and i'm the host of the steadfast creative podcast and formerly the introvert's guide to content creation now the steadfast creative podcast is not just focused on introverts alone this podcast is going to reach all creatives and the aim is to sit down have conversations and to go past talking to go into executing consistently hence the name steadfast the aim is not just for us to have a great idea of what to do and then not do it many creatives take courses all the time they read books they are doing everything but doing what they need to do now the question is what decision would you make today if you knew failure was not an option or what action would you take today if you knew failure was not an option as creatives we are distracted by things that happen in our industry and in the world everyone is doing videos on chat gpt so you want to jump on that bad wagon but you've forgotten that you set a goal for yourself and you've gone off track how do we stay consistent on our track and enjoy it while we're doing? How do we evolve without going back to the basics? How do we stay on track if we don't have anything we are tracking? These are the things I'll be talking about. Like I said, I think I should tell you a little bit about myself. Well, my name is DK. Like I said, I am blabbing, so this is never going to go anywhere, but I'm going to continue recording because that's what I do. I got into the creative industry by accident. I was supposed to do a PhD, but I have chronic illness and we just got diagnosed with um, post orthostatic dichotomy syndrome, which is an autoimmune disease and restless uh, retained reflexes and a couple of other things. So I was struggling at that point in time. I saw an educational psychologist, but one thing that helped me was my creativity i fell in love with my creativity and my creative side and i just couldn't wait to share it with the world but that doesn't pay the bills that's not sustainable how can we do it and do it right how can we ensure that although we are enjoying what we're doing we are not frustrated we are not overwhelmed because of bills that's what the steadfast creative podcast is going to look at i'll be sharing tools resources and i will take you on my journey to ten thousand monthly i would not be blabbing and just tell, giving you statistics that don't exist but i'll be taking you behind the scenes i won't just tell you what to do i would not show you how to do it i would also be taking action consistently what i'm going to share with you are my routines and rituals that i have also shared with people that are earning comfortably now and that's what i want for you i want you to thrive i want you to succeed i want you to be the best version of yourself the only way you can be the best version of yourself is if you allow yourself to do what you say you will do we'll be talking a lot about self-accountability and sometimes i will bring people on the podcast now the podcast is going to be of two folds there will be times where i come and pick a topic have a conversation which is something i find fascinating i find a lot of things fascinating there are times I will share my solo views, like this is my perspective on this topic. But I would also like to hear from you. Other times I will have a panel or an interview where I would love to hear from other creatives and we can share 
tools, success stories, and much more. Why am I doing the steadfast creative path? Because we need a path. Traditional routes give us four years in university or three years in university, and then you get a job. After six months, you get pro- your, your probation is over. After a certain period, you get promotion and stuff like that. But as a freelancer, you don't get any promotion unless you promote yourself. You do not. You get to even design your own path. How wonderful would it be if you can create a path for yourself and not die of frustration? Some people left the nine to five world to start struggling and evolving. There's a new trend. You're going left, right, center, but you do not even have a place where you can have conversations. Long gone are the offices we used to go to that we built communities that are like our third place. We no longer have that because we are sitting at home behind our computers, not having conversations with people. What we're building is unique. What we're building is a community, a community of creatives that thrive together, that collaborate, that grow, that share ideas, that read, that are passionate and investing in their own self-development and personal growth without compromising their values. And is it possible to do that in a world where we say morals have gone out the window? The truth is it is. And the secret to it is... An open secret, so I'll reveal the open secret later. However, what I want to do is simply this. I want to invite you on this journey with me. I will tell you a couple of episodes that will be recording so you understand what to expect. The first episode will be talking about being steadfast, your creative journey. What do you want from your creative journey? What paths do you want to take? Do you even know your unfair advantage? Do you know your strengths? Do you know your weaknesses? What is it? Why is it important to work on your strengths? That's the conversation we would have in the first episode. Then we're going to go to the second episode, which has to do with your self-development, but information. There is information overload. We've got information left, right, center. How do we take this information that we've received and make it retrievable? It's something called the second brain. And that's what we're going to talk about. In episode three, it's quite simple. And I think I'll stop in episode three. It's about creating a tough place for you. As creatives, I myself am guilty of this. We work 24-7. All we're doing is thinking about our work, about our creative gift. Even when we go out, we're like, oh, I can capture this so I can share. Do we have a place where we can let loose and just be ourselves? Where you can date yourself and be content with who you are without having to create anything. That's what episode three is going to be on. And there'll be much more episodes that we will have to discuss key fundamental issues that we creatives go through. Another thing, I don't know how my team will feel about this because I don't work alone, but if you're listening, my plan is to record without editing. It's going to be something like I'm doing in life. I'm going to have the conversations. I will have the bloopers. I would have every single thing in. So this episode might actually go live, but the aim is just to show you that it doesn't have to be perfect all the time. Season one is going to be amazing. I said earlier in one of the recordings that I have 13 to 16 episodes planned because the episodes change. And I allowed it change because the conversation was evolving around what was going on currently. And I want you to be part of this journey. I want to even hear from you. I want to hear what you want me to talk about. I want us to keep this conversation flowing. So. Just send me a message. I'm DK Jonah everywhere. I love Instagram. TikTok is the way forward. And I also am on Twitter, DK underscore Jonah. Or with the Steadfast Creative Podcast, you may create social media profiles, but this is the very first season. This is the first time that I will stick to my podcast without turning left or right. And I'm smiling as I say this because I'm not new to this radio, but I'm excited about this journey. What do you want your creative path to be? What do you want your destiny to be? What's what action that you will take today if you knew failure was not an option? It's time to get your pen to paper and write. Or write on your notes. Whichever way you get information out of your head, it's time to start thinking on paper and taking action consistently. That's the rule of the game. That's the path we are taking. And that is the Steadfast Creative Podcast. So thank you so much for joining me for this pilot episode. And it may still go out. It may not. But thank you. Have a wonderful day. Cheers. Bye.